There is a place west of the prime meridian, chiseled from limestone, rich in culture, tradition, and birthplace of perhaps the world's most undiscovered sportsmanships. A game rooted deep in the ghettos of Barbados. A game destined to be played by the elite. Tennis is an is a indigenous sport. Road tennis, say, now in the 50s. Road tennis is mental, physical, emotional, it's everything. It's a complete sport. And in those days, it, was, it had seemed as a only a, a downtrodden sport. So government never saw it as something tangible. It depends on if Barbados or if the association wants that to happen, wants it to be a sport that's indigenous to Barbados or they want it to be like a professional, a professional sport, something that can really advance to a very high level and get players from perhaps all over the world playing it. If they don't be careful in Barbados, they will lose the sport. So we need to get any piece of wood then and cut out the handle to hold, and then that was our racket. Tennis is not a hard sport to learn, and it's what you put in, you will get out of anything you do. Road tennis is a sport that I find you reach your peak around 30 years and going into the 40s. That's just the way it is. In road tennis, there are four strong styles in road tennis. <laughs> 